Okay, you, 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 let me tell you. Okay, we Sorry. Early this morning, about four o'clock, I hear people was around, were around my gate. I made some calls. I tried to reach the governor um, because he had told me that if I saw any strange movements, I should alert him since he issued the statement. So I tried to reach him. The phones were off. And then, so I called some people. They said they might not be real policemen, so I should stay. They said they came to take me away. I said, for what? Do they have a warrant of arrest? They say no warrant of arrest. So I left it about six o'clock. They broke the gate. And later, Senator Magnus Abbe now called me that he had reached the commissioner of police who said he didn't know anything about it. So the CP called me. I sent him my address. He came. They told me the CP was downstairs. The CP wasn't down, but I think he's the deputy commissioner of police. So I opened the door. They wanted to grab me. I now pushed back the door and locked it and went upstairs, got through to my governor. They broke, they tried to break the back door. It's a security door, so they kept hitting it for over one hour and they couldn't get access. So my governor came, asked them for the warrant of arrest and why couldn't they invite me to the police that I would have come instead of going to take a woman like a criminal. So the governor took me in his car and here, I'm refugee in the government house. <laughs> but I want to thank His Excellency for keeping to his word that nothing should happen to the daughter of River State. So here I am in the government house, and that's all. I was supposed to be going today to Abuja to make my submission between, before the House of um, Representatives, the committee. I'm sure it's about that. Meanwhile, the, the, the man that harassed me is at home. The man who stole the money is at home. The man who stole government files is at home. The man who took money is at home. The man who said I should go and take an oath is at home. It's a criminal offense. It's life imprisonment to take um, um, oaths, to even give to me, to, to even offer me an oath. It's, it's, it's liable. So I'm here. So now that you're here, what options are you resorting Well, I'm sure my lawyers will be working on it as we speak. But do, you, I'm, do you really feel safe? I feel very safe in the government house. And not just government house now. Oh, no, I don't think um, Akbabio can't kill me. Definitely, he can't. He can't. This is not, I'm not from uh, Uyo now. <laughs> he can't kill me. And why do people think he has the monopoly of violence? But what really is the issue about? I'm, I think he wanted to stop me from giving my um, submission today. He succeeded, but I'm sure the House of Reps will give me another day and Nigerians will hear more. I had stopped talking. I just wanted to make my submissions and then go away. But with this, mm -mm. and they say wise men who refuse to do anything suffer the rule of idiots. So thank you. Thank you.